Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be focused on a channel banner. Now this design is fairly simple and it does offer some minimal customization. That being this left corner over here where you can probably tell there's a character hiding behind the icon. Now you don't have to use a character there, you can obviously use scenery or again characters if you really wanted to or even just leave it as it is just a blue side and that also works. It's really up to you and again that's probably one of the few parts of this that's easy to customize. The rest of it's going to require a bit more work to get it more custom fit for your server. But without much further delay let's just get into the tutorial. We're going to start off by going to File, New, and we'll be using 1200 by 530 for our canvas. There we go. Create a new layer at the bottom, go to background, click delete on your keyboard. Now come over to your rounded rectangle tool, drop this down. Don't worry too much about the sizing yet. We're going to edit that with this properties tab. So if you don't see properties, come over to window, go down to properties, click that. Properties is going to appear here on the left. You can either leave it there or drag it and dock it. And I highly recommend that you do so. Otherwise, it's going to be getting into your way in this section there. So with this popped up, we're going to be making a couple changes. So these corners, 62 pixels as the curve. Actually, let's go 60 and make it an even. Well, it was already an even number, but a clean number. For the width, we're going to be doing 1140 and for the height 300. Now we're going to take this and center it. You might notice the canvas is a fair bit larger than the actual banner and that's just so we have a little bit of extra wiggle room if we need to. I'll show you how to actually save at the end so all this extra space does not interfere with the look of your banner. Now we're going to double click on this, we're going to call this the base, do control G on your keyboard, right click on the eyeball, make that green, let's call this the base area, and let's quickly just verify that we're using the correct color for the base. We want to be using 404B57 for that, so click OK once you have it. Now create a new layer. And this shape is going to be a little complicated to make. Well, that shape is accomplished using the pen tool. Now, this can definitely take more than a couple tries to get right. But I'll show you quickly how it's done. Then I'll pause, get the shape worked out properly, and then I'll be back with the completed one. So to make the shape, approximately, you're going to want to click with the pen tool. So hold down. For any of these toolbars, you're going to hold down with the left mouse button and it'll pop out more options. So do that with the pen tool. Make sure you're on the pen tool. Then click, for example, here. Now click here, but don't let go of the mouse. And then just drag, and you're going to see it's going to create a curve depending on how you drag it. Let's drag it like that. Then we will click up here and we will finish the drag. Now that wasn't all the way to the top, as you can see I'm a bit short, but that's just a quick guide of how that's done. Now you click all the way around, come back to the start, right click, make selection, hit OK, then do Shift F5 on your keyboard, click on color. Now it's going to give you a choice of which color you want to use, and we'll be using 68 adf 2 Click OK, and then once again. Now you can see this shape is pretty terrible. I'll be pausing real quick and get a good shape going. But that's just a quick guide of how that's done. So you can make your own shape that's more suited for your needs or just a bit different from what I initially had in case you don't like it. Now as you can see we have our new blue shape in the area. Now it still does have a few problems and that's just because it's really difficult to get a good shape going but you'll always have the one from the template to work off of if you want the perfect one. So for this left area, I'm going to right click, go into blending options, go over to inner shadow, and we want the following settings 100, 
90, uncheck global light, 2, 0, and then 9. Then click OK. Now you can see we have our inner shadow going across here. Now we can take our character model, drop them in, do Control T on your keyboard, come over to the width, add a negative to the front of that, click OK, do Control T, let's resize this a tad until they're in the corner. Then we're going to stay on our character model, hold Control on our keyboard, click on the thumbnail for the left area, then do Control J. Now delete that, reclip the layer we just edited, call this the character. We're going to swap this over to soft light. And then bring the opacity down to 40%. Now we can go ahead and drag in the icon, drop that down, make sure that is clipped on as well. We'll call this the icon, right click, blending options, color overlay, that's going to be white, and right click, rasterize layer style, control T on your keyboard. Let's drag this down until it is an appropriate size. That's perfect. Make sure it is centered. Then right click, blending options. We'll go to drop shadow. 38, 0, 0, and 16 is what we want to use for that. Then we can collapse this. And before we forget, let's come back to our base. Right click, blending options and we're going to add a stroke at 7 pixels, which is white. Now we can go ahead and collapse this. We're going to take all three of these, right click on the eyeball, and let's make this blue. This is so that we keep, I have a certain three, two, one, go. And the purpose behind doing that is just to keep ourselves organized because all of this here is going to be clipped onto this base area and if we don't organize ourselves in some way then we can easily get mixed up with what's on the left side and what's on the right side so everything that involves this blue section we went ahead and made it blue next step we're going to take this noise texture drop that down do control T let's make sure this fits now we're going to go over to soft lights and bring the opacity down to 10%. And then we'll click on that and let's call it noise. Next, we're going to go over to the new layer that we made, grab our pen tool. Then we're going to come and click at around here and then click around there. And then we're just going to have a bit of a curve. Now you might already be familiar with this style as I used it with one other banner on the channel, one of the channel tutorials. And I believe it fits fairly well here as well, so that's why I'm bringing it back. So make selection and then shift F5, go over to color, and we'll use the following color. 37404C, click OK, click OK. As you can see, that color is now dropped in. I'll call this the darker. Now I'll create a new layer. Come over to my rectangle tool, take this blue and make it a white. I'm going to go over this top section over here, the stroke. I want that to be white. The fill, non-existence, two pixels for the size, and I want to be on the dotted line. Now I'm going to create a shape just like that. Size doesn't matter too much as long as it's fairly noticeable. I'm going to hold shift when I rotate it. Actually, I'll make it a bit bigger. I was a bit too small to be honest with you. And then I will drop that around there. It's actually too small still because I want it to be a bit more visible. Perfect. Now do control J and clip that on. And I can either do Alt, click in between, or right click and create clipping mask. And right now it says release, because I've already gone ahead and clipped it. And this one I will move around here. And for the last one, Control J and then clip it. I will put in this section. I'm going to call this the dotted. 
correct. Just so we know what's what. I'm going to collapse the space area for now, create a new layer, do control G. I'm going to call this the text. Right click on the eyeball. Let's make this yellow. Doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to come over to my text tool. I'm going to click down and we will call this follow us. Now the font that I'm using is called Bubble Boy 2 and of course I will have this linked in the description for you to download. Now the size, we want to use 94 pixels. Let's go ahead and center that. Then right click, a blending options. Go over to a drop shadow and we want 38, 0, 0 and 16. Collapse that, create a new layer click below and this one will be called our socials or our social our make sure it's all capitalized now you can just default capitalize it by clicking this but it doesn't really matter both get the job done and for this one we want our size to be at 55 pixels as for the color this one will be blue like this left side all right, this does still look to be a little large, so I'm going to do Control T and adjust it down. Let's make sure this is centered. Now I'm going to come over to my rounded rectangle tool, create a new layer, and we want to be using that same blue from before. Click OK. Then we're going to come over here and just drop it down on each side, so one there. Then do control J and move it over and we shall have one over there as well. I'm going to call this left dots and then this one the right. Now I'm going to collapse the text layer, come over to our base area. Then I'm going to create a new layer above the darker. This one I'm going to go over to the rectangle tool, fill, we're going to be using white. And then I'm going to hold shift when I make this to keep it proportional in size. And then I'm going to right click, blending options. Looks like I don't know how to click today. Then we're going to go over to outer glow. And we will use 97, 0, 23, 7, 50, and 0. Click OK. We'll call this the glowing rect. And we will have one at about there. Let's make it a bit smaller. And we'll have one over here. And make sure you clip it on. And for a final touch, there's a couple different things you can do. One, you could add a little line here. Or two, you can come over to this existing one and do something along the lines of this. So click there, go down, click back up. And then you'd cut this out. This is just an example, you have to play around with it to get it to a look that you like. But then you can create little cuts through this darker area to introduce some of that lighter gray that's in the background. Now to actually save this project, you would go over to your rectangular marquee tool, highlight over the entire thing, go to edit, copy merged, file, new, create, control V, delete that background, then file, export, save for web. And this would keep it really compressed and small, but still keep the high quality or file, save, or save as and then select PNG. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'm going to have another one popping up on screen soon to another tutorial you could try out that would look great for a lot of different servers. Hope you all have an awesome day.